Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. And this time we are looking at a bottle of Nanny State 0.5% ABV from Brewdog. As it says on the bottle, an insanely hopped Imperial Mild. When this got first released, I just gave it a bit of a wide berth. Um, I was a bit tired of all the Brewdog shenanigans. Uh, I read some reviews of it, it sounded awful. But then recently, um, maybe a couple of months back, David um, Urban Viking reviewed it and said it was nice. I think this is different. I think the I think the first one was like one percent or something, or it was it might have been less. I can't remember, and it was rancid apparently. But the, this is a slightly different one. This may be much better. And that name, the insanely hopped Imperial Mild. But does Imperial mean? Often, like Imperial Stout, Imperial IPA, usually means stronger, but this is weaker. But once upon a time, Brewdog did a beer called How to, How to Disappear Completely, uh, which I really liked. It was, they called it a fake fix uh, IPA. It used uh, loads of varieties of grains and loads of hops, but of obviously a relatively low, low ABV to that. I think it was like 3.8 or something like that. Anyway, so the beer in question, Nanny State. It is a, it's a, like a mucky looking chestnut colour, quite, yeah, pretty, pretty well, I won't say it's filtered, but I mean, there's a, it's good, good, good clarity. The, um, the head, if we can generate a bit more of a head, um, it's like a beige, nice and tight, this uh, dissipates quite quickly though. Anyway, after all this time, what's the nice steak going to smell like? Let's find out. Hmm. There's a, there's a tobacco note in there. There's a, there's a dirty dishcloth. There's an earthy hop, loads of it. Quite a, yeah, dishcloth, soaked in kind of like fair liquid. So it's got that lemony, lemony kind of thing going on. There's some mild smoke, roasted chestnuts. Mm, that's interesting. I mean, every a lot of people have uh, brewed low ABV beers uh, since that time, and it does remind me on the nose of something like Mighty Atom from Fuller's or so um, Soul Star from Adnam. So they're both kind of like um, less than three percent beers, I think they are. So yeah, let's let's find out what this tastes like. Finally, cheers. Funny one. Tea leaves, definitely. Very, very watery. Faint, yeah, kind of coffee tea leaf kind of thing going on. Port scratchings, old port scratchings, most. A bit feisty. Yeah, tobacco, a really powerful bitterness, but not, it's not tart, it's not, actually it's, it's a really prevalent bitterness, but it's not powerful, relatively unpleasant bitterness, slightly floral, like you've walked into some spraying perfume in your mouth, mm, funny one, a mess really, I mean it's not, it's, yeah, it is unpleasant. I'll probably drink it. But it's weird. It doesn't work. I'm going to watch a couple, I think I'll probably watch David's review in a minute while I drink the rest of this. Try and figure out what he enjoyed out of it because I'm not getting much really. It's watery. It's weird. It's, 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 it's ill conceived. It's a silly idea. They shouldn't make it anymore. It's a gimmick. It's a lot of fluff. If I was if I was the designated driver and I was forced to drink this muck, I'd go home early. Nanny stay, Rudo, not point five. Don't bother. It's weird. Nah. Unpleasant. See you later. Cheers.